So here I'm getting my avocado prepared and I'm just cutting it in half. And you see my big bag of avocados and I'm just gonna slice it right in the middle. And then I'm gonna just turn it and then you're gonna see the seeds. I'm preparing to do um, some guac with it because <clears throat> I would like to eat it that way. So I'm just gonna open it up and then I'm gonna scoop it on out and prepare to smash it up a little bit. I was going to eat this with toast, but the bread was too much, um, too many points. It was four points for the bread I was going to use. So I'm just gonna have to find a bread um, that, the bread that's one point, um, and I already know which one it is. It's actually from um, Aldi's. And so here I am cutting up the onion. And so um, I ended up cutting off a little bad piece off of the onion too. If you see me kind of cut like an area that I didn't really want to eat there because it kind of, I put water on the onion, so I don't know if I should have done that. But anyway, I should have turned the water on while cutting this because I was, um, my eyes were burning the whole time. And I thought to myself, this was a mistake. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and cut that onion up. And then I'm going to um, just take a little bit of the onion, take that excess skin off, and then I'm gonna just chop up some and put it inside um, with the avocado. You don't have to do this, but you know, I liked to do this. And I had ran out of, well not really ran out of tomatoes, but my tomatoes were actually getting um, rotten, so I need to get new tomatoes. So I ended up not having any tomatoes for this, um, um, for this mashed avocado guac and not any for my salad. And that was okay. I was okay with that, but I can get some later. So I'm gonna mash this up after, um, put that to the side, and now it's time for me to get this um, mashed avocado going. So um, it would have been nice to have some bread with this, but you know, it's okay. I just ate it right from the bowl. I added some seasoning, some salt to it, and I ate it right like that. And I was really happy <laughs> to have my avocado um, today. And I was able to eat it twice today. So like I said later on in the video, I'm really interested to see in the morning what my results will look like because I ate two avocados. So um, they say zero points um, for avocados. So we'll see what happens. guys welcome so today is day one of me getting back on ww remember last um year end of last year wasn't um being consistent on ww because of the holidays and things like that now i'm back had my avocado and uh, my onion today and um tonight's dinner i'm already thinking about what i'm gonna have it's gonna be pretty simple i'm gonna do those um big salads um again with um some like kalamata mari things called kalamata olives and some um tomato and some cucumber um with spring mix and romaine lettuce that's pretty much what i'm gonna eat um is there anything else going to eat with that i don't know i'm gonna see what's in my stash in my closet um but so far i'm okay i have a little hunger still after i eat the avocado i was gonna have the avocado toast that you guys saw on camera just a few minutes ago but um the point value was way too high it was four points and so um i know that there's you know lower point bread and so i just end up buying that bread just because um it was a quick um grocery store um actually i did on instacart where i quickly just picked that bread because um you know it was there and so it was kind of a rush and so um i know that there's the keto type of bread where it's one point and so that is probably what I will pick. Um, maybe I'll purchase it today or something like that because I definitely bought a lot of avocado on purpose because I wanted to eat avocado. So I end up actually switching um, my and doing my questionnaire over. I had 22, I believe it was 22 points. Yes, 22 points. Before. And um, avocado I had on one week before, like last end of last year. Um, and I didn't lose as much weight as I thought. I think I only lost actually 0.2 pounds, but I'm, I said, you know what? I'm gonna try this out again with the avocado. So my points went down to 21. And like I said, I did that on purpose because I want my avocado and it's free, okay? 
I don't want to be deprived of my avocado. Um, yes, you need to make sure that with avocado, you are very careful because you can eat overeat avocado, okay? Um, now, so I make sure, you know, like, you know, to, like I think my limit will probably be like one or two a day. I know two is a lot, but I've already had one. And so if I find I'm getting hungry later, I may have another. I don't know. We will see. It just dep all depends on, you know, what I eat today, what I decide to eat, um, and things like that. So right now I'm going to just have an orange and pretty much that's it, guys. Um, I'm excited about this week because I'm, you know, back on track um, on WW. Um, and... I'm happy because, I, you know, I have these goals in my head and I said in my last video that I wanted to lose, um, I think it, I said eight, but now it's 10 because my weigh-in, as you saw, was 210.5. And um, I had gained like two pounds um, from the weight I had lost, but I still am down from last year's weight of what I was, 212, 213. That's where I was hovering before, but now I'm 210.5. So I'm headed down in the right direction, guys. Um, and so I'm excited about that, excited about being back on, you know, healthy journey. I'm not sure if I'll be able to walk today. Well, it depends. I'm a home stay at home mom and I homeschool too. And so um, it all depends on our schedule with that. And our kids didn't even start school yet. So for today, because um, I had a doctor's appointment and things like that. So I would definitely want to go walking. So I don't want to make that an excuse not to go walk at least, you know, a one to two miles, three miles. And that's what I'm going to do, guys. Let me know how your day is going this week, this first week of January. This is, the, you know, the time for you to get back on track. If you have not, um, even if you ate bad today, you know, for the beginning of the day, eat good from this point forward, right? Um, because you don't want to make those excuses anymore. This is the, not the time to make those excuses. Um, this is for for you, for your health, for whatever your whys are, you know, are, are there for. You want to make sure you're healthy, you know, even in the time of the pandemic, right? You know, but still, just for just your general overall health and wellness and um, your immune system, it's going to, you know, be better for you to eat healthier. And so I'm excited to be back on that journey. Last night, though... <laughs> I um, had, you know, some things like yesterday was Sunday and I kind of, I guess I just kind of, um, you know, did it like my last meal, meal, cheat meal, cheat day or whatever you want to call it. Um, I had, I think, shrimp fried rice um, and I ate like two plates of that it, uh, and I ate, you know, Twizzlers and I had gummy bears. I know I can all have these things on my points if I wanted to do that. But I wanted to get it out the way because of the volume that I ate was obviously, it wasn't over the amount of weight because I actually was getting full. I had like two handfuls of gummy bears and then I couldn't eat anymore. I think I had a couple of that I couldn't eat anymore, some rice that I couldn't eat anymore. But for me, it was a lot because normally I don't, can't eat that as much because my stomach has shrunk inside. So I can't um, eat as much as I used to, but I still indulged. Um, I don't know if that was a good or bad thing, but and I, I saw the result the next day with my weight and I did gain a pound. Okay, so um, was it worth that pound? Like, you know, I don't know. I didn't really care at that point. I was just like, you know what? Holidays, this is the end of my holidays and I was still down. And right now I'm, I'm happy with that. So it's a journey. I'm not rushing this. Okay, and um, we're gonna take it from here. And so my goal, today like i said is to eat within my points um even if i don't get to finish my points i'm fine with that too try to eat some of these fruits and vegetables that i brought so you guys some oranges and bananas that i purchased um and those are zero points so if i'm getting hungry i'll eat those um as far as a real meal meal i have not um really thought about that only for dinner and so sometimes i eat like that it's not really like a real meal meal uh, per se, um, I'll just, you know, maybe eat avocado, eat fruits, whatever. And then when the time like dinner comes around then I'll eat meal. So I told you guys I have to get better at that, especially the meal prepping thing. And so that's definitely what I'm going to work on. Um, I think I may focus on the salads. 
um, with the meal prepping with that because it seems really simple and easy. It's nothing I have to cook or anything like that. Um, I do love sandwiches, but I'm going to definitely have to research some of the breads um, that are out there because I'm not really a bread person per se. Um, but I know that there are low calorie breads that I'm going to, you know, go ahead and get. Um, I, you know, so I, I would definitely eat the salads, especially if it's like a Greek salad or something like that. Um, I just need to make sure that it's going to be enough uh, protein to keep me full. And so, um, that's why I love having zero point eggs and things like that, because the eggs is going to keep you, it's going to keep you full. Right. And so I'm going to try to really, um, you know, eat around my zero point foods list and then um and when i want to add in you know some treats or things like that then that's where i use my points i'm going to try that method this this week and today and just you know see how it goes and actually i will end up weighing tomorrow just to see um, my progress from yesterday to today really excited guys like i said before hope you guys are excited too um you know don't um don't don't just look at this as you know it's so hard it can be hard um and you can feel like you know you want to give up and throw in the towel and all these different things but um when you really look at it as a lifestyle instead of looking at it as a quick fix fad diet whatever you, you that you're doing um that's why i chose weight watchers because it's going to teach me how to make this a lifestyle yes the holiday season you know wasn't may have not been all that great but i didn't do too bad and I'm going to work through that for the next holiday seasons. I'm going to, um, you know, try to make sure on holidays and birthdays, things like that. I'm staying on the program because I do notice with myself that when certain time frames come around, like those, like I say, the holidays and stuff, um, I kind of have in my mind frame already that I'm not going to stay on the program because it's already pre, it's like I already, I'm already thinking about that, right? And thinking about it in that aspect and because I believe it's because I don't want may not want to count you know points or whatever it may be but I have to know that in my retrain myself to know hey and even if I don't get to count the points to know what I can eat because I know the program so well <clears throat> that I kind of virtually stay on the program as you know um, or whatever so here's the rest of what I ate today, bananas. And then I made a big salad and a big Tupperware. Um, you can get this Tupperware off of um, Amazon. And I just added some avocado as well. And I just put it in a plate and, and I had, this is my second avocado. Remember I said I like those Kalamati olives. So I put about four in there. That's two points for four olives. So one point for two olives. And um, I added some ranch dressing after that um about two tablespoons of ranch and the ranch dressing was five points and i also had this ice cream sandwich for seven points hey guys so i'm back and my food is ready to go i'm about to dig in yes can't wait to eat it guys this is gonna be it i don't know if i'm gonna use any points i actually only used seven points today i gained some you saw that on video and um pretty much this is it unless i you know do a snack or something i'm not hungry like that so that's a good thing um, and so kind of surprised I have, I'm having two avocados today. So you guys saw that I'm going to definitely weigh myself in the morning just to see if, you know, the, eating that avocado made me gain weight. All right, guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and hit that bell.